representing Ukraine. So, Alexei Novikov, Novikov, very enigmatic, charismatic, and he's here to win. World's strongest man representing as the is this guy, States of America, four Brian time world's strongest Shaw. man, Brian Shaw, and a true icon of the sport. And he's won his four titles, I'd say, in the, in the hardest ever era Ready? of the sport. Up against the likes of Big Z all of those times. He can get that fifth title, wow. and this is where it begins. And he looks a bit slow compared to Novikov, that's no surprise. Novikov just incredibly fast there. Always with that incredible speed. He actually was around the eight-second mark. He was two seconds quicker than Bishop, oh. but he goes down. Did he curb against the, the sidewalk there? Well, he was bearing down on that time to be. Didn't manage it, but wasn't far off. 23.79 seconds for Novikov versus 27.03 for Shaw. My goodness, what happened to Novikov there? He could have been quicker. He could have been a lot quicker. He was quicker than Bishop in the first half section. And 23.79, second best. And taking seventh place, 27.03, a surprise there. The Disappointing for Big Ryan Shaw. There's your winner. And it's official, 22.55 for a delighted Adam Bishop. Meaning, of course, well, Bishop, with the first event win, Novikov in his first final appearance, he takes second. The American, Pritchett, who we haven't seen at World since 2015, is in third. And Graham Hicks, very sadly, has to withdraw due to injury. 25 of the world's strongest have converged on Florida's west coast to compete in the sport's ultimate championship, whose title leaves little room for ambiguity. But what does it really mean to be the world's strongest man? Is it the man that can lift the most, grip and hold the longest, or carry the heaviest and run the fastest? The answer may be all of the above, plus one other thing, that thing we call mental toughness, a toughness to withstand the pressure, the pain. Now, just 10 men remain, some who've come close before, including one making his eighth appearance in a final, but each time the title has eluded him. Others are here for the first time, including one who's already had great expectations bestowed upon him at the age of just 24. Of the 10, only one has hoisted the trophy before, in fact, he's done so four times, but a fifth would tie the all-time record and secure his legacy as one of the all-time greatest ever. Ten finalists may seem like a lot, but in context, it's just a very few. The few willing to do what these men do, testing the strength of their bodies to the max, as well as their tolerance for pain. The few in all the world willing to put all this on the line to stand alone as the world's strongest man. This is the SPD World's Strongest Man Final. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2020 SPD World's Strongest Man Final. This is Anna Maria Island, just west of Bradenton on Florida's Gulf Coast. And here among the natural beauty and splendor, 25 of the most powerful men on the planet have been competing this week for the ultimate strength title. Eddie Hall has been there and he's won it in 2017. Eddie, when you look at the lineup this year for the final, first of all, what are those men going to be going through ahead of these final events? Well, there's going to be a lot of pressure on these guys. Brian Shaw, especially four times world's strongest man. Everyone is expecting him to get his fifth, including Brian himself. So he's putting a lot of pressure on himself. And indeed, there's a lot of suggestions that this might be his final appearance at world's strongest man. So it is now or never. When you look through the rest of the field, so many great athletes there. Who stands out as his biggest rivals? Uh, we've got Tom Stoltman, genetically bigger than Brian, so a real force to be reckoned with. Jerry Pritchett's been away for five years. He's looking absolutely massive. JF Caron, eight times in the final, so he could really do some damage. And then the young putt, Novikov, I think he's going to show the men how it's done. 